Okay. Cancer. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we doing um, who has something to get off their chest. So, we can go ahead and get started. We gonna see um, who needs closure from you. What type of closure do they need from you? Um, what they want to say to you and what's your take on the situation. So, we can go ahead and get started, y'all, and see what's going on for you. Don't forget to hit the like button, y'all. Share and subscribe. something to get off their chest with cancer my cancer collective who has something to get off their chest Ooh. somebody that you opened up to this is somebody you were vulnerable with you shared your um your deepest dark oh deepest darkest thoughts with this person um for some of y'all, this is somebody that you stay with, that you live in a household with. Let's see. Others of you, this is somebody that's heavily focused on you. Somebody that gives you money, somebody that shares with you. They're very generous with you. Whoever this person is, they love you. Um, they do anything you need them to do for you. They come through for you. This is the person that you call on. Like when that tire broke, when that tire <laughs> when that tire blo broke, when that tire is flat, you call on this person because you know they're gonna come through and they're gonna fix it. This is somebody that's always there for you when you need them. But you feel like you and this person keep going through some type of repeated cycle with each other. And it's kind of getting tiring. Some of y'all are tired of dealing with this person. You may be feeling like you're going through like um a rough patch. This person may be having money issues and they may need to tell you that. This is this is something that they could be keeping from you. <clears throat> they don't want to worry you. And this could be the reason why. Like if this person is telling you no lately <clears throat> or they're not giving you as much as they used to, it's because they don't really have it like that right now. Somebody's trying to like get their money back together. Others of y'all, this is somebody you open up to and you'll never consider moving in with this person. <laughs> you'll never consider moving in with this person. you like, we got to keep our own shit all the way around. But you know what? I keep calling you and hitting you up and fucking with you every now and then. That's for my um cancer singles, okay? And you know you just dealing with somebody, y'all dating, and you know you would never like Ugh, the way you live the way you do this oh uh, you don't like to pick up your clothes oh i could never live with you <laughs> it's one of them vibes like i would never but you can't stop dealing with this person though y'all like this person you, as, as much as you try to act like you don't you really like whoever this is you feel like they very honest with you they tell you the truth this is the only thing that they actually holding back from you. I'm not really seeing any type of malicious intent coming from this spread. Like, whoever this is, they seem to be a, a faithful person. This is definitely somebody that spies on you on your social media to see what you're doing. Um, especially if y'all live together. They be wanting to know when you coming back to the house, what time, who you with. So, this is definitely the type of person that keeps tabs on you. Um... But the only thing that this person is hiding from you is the fact that they're feeling like they can't manifest what they want to manifest in their life. This could be somebody that's having like manifestation problems, like, oh, I'm having a blockage, a creative block. Say if this person was a writer, they don't know what to write about right now. If this person is, uh, they like to draw, they don't know what to draw. Somebody feel like they don't have any inspiration right now or either they losing money finances and they not sure of a way to get more so this could be something that they're keeping from you and something that they that they honestly want to express to you but they haven't had a chance to sit down and be honest with you and tell you yet so overall this actually seems like a, a cool person yeah confession whoever this is they want to confess something about money
for some of y'all, this person may have even like just separated from you and you may have not have known why. This could be the type of person that may have dipped off and you like, damn right. Like those of you that's dating this person and y'all don't live together, this person may have just dipped off and you like, damn, what happened? They gonna tell you what happened. This ain't the type of person that's gonna hide the truth from you, but they're trying to figure out how to tell you. <clears throat> they feel like it's not the right time. They could also have like a gambling addiction. This could be somebody that like to take a lot of risk especially when it comes to business whoever this is they have a lot of risky um business making decisions but sometimes it turns out in their favor sometimes it don't others of y'all this person could have like an addiction to gambling or just going on a boat and shit like that and they may lose a lot of money this could even be somebody that likes to just place bets <clears throat> and they ain't betting on the right teams and shit <laughs> Okay, let's see. Well, we know what they want to say. They want to express that their money is looking a little funny right now. Nothing major. We ain't going to even dig too deep because I was steady shuffling the cards. And it's like, okay, bitch, you can stop. Because um, it's nothing coming out. That's I'm, I'm just going to be honest, y'all. It's nothing coming out that is going to be... I like this. I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to be real. I like this because it's simple. It's straight to the point. Your person don't really hide shit from I'm not. I'm talking about don't really. Your person don't really hide shit from you. The only thing with this person is they very honest with you. But when it comes to money and shit like that, that's like an insecurity for this person. So if you dating like a, a man, this is a man that likes to be on their shit at all times. They don't really like people to see them fall. And it's like when they living with you or when y'all in a relationship, it's like, well, damn, I'm your partner. Now somebody got to see me go through this. Now somebody has to witness me not have it all together. And this is the type of person that like to have their shit together. Even if they a woman, like this is a woman that likes to have a job, a nice home and everything in place and stable before they get into a relationship. <clears throat> or they'll leave the relationship or start like pulling away and you think it's because they acting funny and cheating and they not what do they want to say to you I'm coming back with a vengeance baby <laughs> whoever this person is um like i said they really do love you and this person will reach out to you they may they may text you randomly and tell you how much they love you this is the type of person they really want to just let you know how they feel about you so it won't be no type of confusion what's the seven of cups <clears throat> It's an illusion. Whatever y'all was worried about, it's an illusion. Right, okay, yeah, it's an illusion. If y'all thought this person was cheating, you thought they was doing other shit, and they didn't really want to be invested into the relationship, or they didn't really want to put the time in because they was dealing with somebody else, they not dealing with nobody else. This person, they love you, um, but I could see how it could come off as if it looked like they cheating. Or it looked like they doing some shit that they ain't supposed to be doing. So this person know that you have concerns. If some of y'all have been questioning like this person, what the fuck you doing in your spare time when you're not around me? If you've been questioning that, this person knows it. They know that you have questions in your mind. And it's like, well, you know what? Let me clear this up for you. Let me help you out because I just want to let you know, no, I'm not cheating on you. This ain't what's going on. I just need a little bit of inspiration right now. I just need a little bit of a little bit of help right now. That's how they feel. This is what they want to tell you. Like they're tired, they're giving up, and it's in regards to like their finances. This person need a boost. They need a help. They need a hug. They need to know it's gonna be alright. Honestly. It is not you, it's them. This person is going through a financial loss. Five of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody is depressed over a loss. 
this could be either a physical death that they went through but i'm not feeling the energy of death what i'm feeling is like a, a, this person feeling like they're going through like this repeated loop right now one minute they got money the next minute they don't somebody tired of their pockets somebody tired of living paycheck to paycheck and that's what it is they look like they fine on the outside they look like they they keeping it all together but they're tired of living paycheck to paycheck and they could be also tired of a job they may want to tell you that too that they tired of the job that they work at <clears throat> but they just do it because they don't want to lose it's like they do it because they don't want to be broke it's like, I got to take her at home, so I, I don't really have a choice but to stay at this job, but I really hate it here, and I feel like I'm not making enough money. Yeah, okay, this person has another financial opportunity coming in, though. So if y'all do, you know, let this, let this person know that everything is going to be okay, because I see the Ace of Pentacles out here and the Ace of Wands. So all this person really needs is a little bit of inspiration, and they need it from you. Especially if this is your spouse or somebody that y'all dating. This person really needs your help right now. All they all they need from you is really some encourage, encouraging words and a hug and some loving, y'all. Um, and to know that everything is going to be okay. Because they have a new financial opportunity coming in for them. It's just taking its time coming in. It's moving a little bit slower than it's supposed to be moving. So I can see how that could be frustrating to this person. But however, they got a new opportunity coming in that they don't see. Okay, so just make sure you keep this person inspired. Some of y'all, they may be wanting to tell you that they um they filled out for a new job or they filled out for a job and they don't know if they got it yet. This could be another thing that they want to tell you. See, this person, <laughs> this person's so complicated, y'all. They will run from you and it don't, it don't even be what you think it is. This is the type of person where if they're going through something at school, if they're going through something at work, they'll dip off from you and get the ducking and dodging you for days. And you thinking you done did something to this person until you message them to like solve some sort of conflict. But it don't be no conflict. This person, don't, they don't be mad at you. It be, it be life shit. And, and sometimes I feel like when y'all, when this person is going through life shit, y'all could feel in love. Y'all tend to feel in love when this person is going through life shit. It's like, well, damn, like, why you treat me like that? Like, you know, I love you. Like, what's up? It's life shit. It has nothing to do with you. So if this is something that bothers y'all, you need to make sure you tell this person, like, I feel unloved and pushed away. When you're going through things, you may want to tell this person that you want them to lean on you. Because whoever this is, they're trying to handle it all by themselves as if they don't got a partner. And this is the problem. This is why they're so stressed out and in their head. But they're not cheating, though. Yeah, that's gossip. It's, it's a rumor. Somebody started a rumor and said that this person was cheating or well, y'all could have heard this from somebody things could actually like this could be like a supervisor or this could be somebody i work with for some of y'all that said something like this who's the queen of pentacles with the will of fortune Somebody you don't somebody you don't even get along with. Somebody that you stop hanging around, you don't talk to this person, you don't get along with them. Um, this person could have told you that your person was cheating. So some of y'all like broke up with this person or you was getting ready to leave this person based off of what somebody was telling you. Well, it's a good thing y'all held off because that would have been real confusing. <laughs> that would have been real confusing if you would have left this person. It's a good thing that y'all held back. 
something is not changing, but it's not what y'all think it is. Like, what's not changing is the fact that this person wants to be alone. That's what's not changing. When this person likes, when they going through shit, they like to dive deep and go into introspection and be a hermit and be off in the corner by themselves and shit when they ship's not coming in. And that's what they're hiding from you. That's the only thing that they're hiding from you. The fact that they don't know how to handle, um, they don't know how to handle like losing finances. I'm not going to lie. This is somebody that does not know how to handle poverty. They, they can't fathom that shit. Some of y'all want, this person want to talk to you. Um, they want to tell you what's keeping them stuck. Especially if they've been going out with their friends lately. Some of y'all feel like they've been happy you're hanging with their friends and partying versus being in a relationship. And, and y'all could be holding on to that because you like, damn, I'm a little bit jealous. Like, I've been waiting all night for you to come home or I've been waiting to be with you and you, you out with your friends. Like, what's going on? Are you bored with me? Are you bored in the relationship? Some of y'all are feeling like this person just don't want the relationship or the commitment at all anymore. And that's the furthest thing from the truth. Actually, this person want to marry you. For a lot of y'all, whoever this is, this person wants the Ten of Pentacles. They want to marry you, but they want the money to come with it. This person don't want to marry you and then try to figure out how y'all going to get y'all next dollar or where, where your bread coming from next. They don't want to have to figure all this shit out. This person wants to marry you and be okay. They want to marry you and be happy. So what they're doing now is basically, it's like, I know I'm fucking up because my person probably feels some type of way, but I got all this shit going on. Somebody just said, <laughs> that's it. This could be a Taurus, a Sagittarius. A Scorpio, Virgo, Scorpio, Cancer, another Cancer, Gemini, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Let's see how y'all see things. Let's see what your take on the situation is. Well, first, let's see what type of closure they need. That's what I'm going to ask. <clears throat> what type of closure does this person need from cancer in order to be okay? intellectual they want y'all to put y'all heads together this person um feels like something is too much on their shoulder they feel like something is too much for them to carry along it's too much of a burden for them and this person actually feel ashamed to have to ask you for help but if it's any time in the world that this i mean if it's any time ever that this person will need your help now is the time somebody is scared to speak up when it comes to like what they truly need from you right now as support. And they honestly need to heal that. This is trauma within them to make them feel like they, they can't call on anybody to, or they can't depend on anybody when they got somebody laying right next to them. This person got to stop trying to take on everything by themselves, but you know. They need sex. Sex is one thing they need. This person needs intimacy. Um, sexual chemistry. This could also be y'all bonding, um, spending time together, or just wrapped up in each other's arms. Somebody needs, like, your touch. They also need you to check on their health, too. For some of y'all, this person, um, they may do, like, things that's harmful to their health when they're going through something. Well, this could be anything, y'all. This could be them not eating. This could be them not drinking enough water. This could be them drinking too much alcohol. They could be doing something that's really, really harmful to their health when they go through shit. 
So make sure y'all checking on this person's health, especially if they have like any type of conditions. For some of y'all, this person may have like diabetes or they may have, they may have something um, with their health where it needs to be monitored. It needs to be monitored. It needs to be paid attention to. So make sure y'all checking in on that. I mean, I know you're not this person's parent, you know, but some of y'all, y'all may be this person's parent. Some of y'all... <laughs> Some of y'all, this could be your child going through something like this, and and you could have a grown kid. Um, others of y'all, this could be like your spouse, and it's like this person needs your love. They need your touch. If it's just your child, they need a hug, or they need you to tell them you love them. They need to know that everything is okay, in order for them to feel like they can move forward without worrying so much. Because they want to know what's coming next. This person is confused. They actually a little bit scared. And they feel like they ignoring a lot of red flags. Or they trying to... This is like somebody throwing their bills in a drawer. Hoping that they pay themselves. Or hoping that they don't see them. <laughs> so it's kind of like that. They worried about shit that they feel like they should ignore. But they feel like if they ignore it. It's going to come back and bite them in the ass later. Or something is going to be piling up. Or something like that. what's your take on a situation how do you feel about this person or this situation how do you feel about this person what's your take on it resisting yeah i feel like this person pulling back from you because they made the wrong decision they did some shit that they ain't supposed to be doing um yeah i feel like it's no point in being with this person it's no point in reconciling you feel like they cheated but this uh some of y'all know it's like you know that this person haven't been flirting with you or you feel like they haven't really been talking to you much or flirting with you or giving you what you need some of y'all are married to this person and you feel like maybe y'all are having second thoughts y'all are having doubts you feel like maybe this person felt forced to get married or forced to be in a relationship with you. Some of y'all could have had a lot of interferences too. Like a lot of people that tried to, to get in between what y'all had going on. It could have been family. It could have been third parties prior. It could have been anything. But some of y'all feel like this person feels pushed into the relationship with you. Like maybe they don't want it anymore or value it anymore. You know they would never hurt you or send you away or just leave you completely. But it's like, well, damn, do they want to be alone? Do they not want this relationship? Y'all feel like this person not in love with you no more. You could be seeking help. Some of y'all want to renew your vows. You want to think of a way to like bring this person back in maybe rehash the the wedding memories maybe rehash like our anniversary some of y'all are trying to plan something special in order to get your person's attention because it's like damn i really don't know what they want anymore i don't know how to read them anymore i don't know what's going on with them i try to be playful with them and they still don't want to be with me they still don't want to sleep with me they still don't want to be around it's like i feel like i'm losing my patience Oh, Cancer, don't feel like that. Like, whoever this person is, y'all, they do love you. I'm not even going to sit here and tell y'all what y'all want to hear because this person do, they love you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to get on here and lie to y'all. That's what I'm not going to do. If it was some bullshit, I would tell you about it because I would not want y'all to go through any hurtful shit. You know what I'm saying? But... Let's see. What's what's up with this person? Now, what's on their mind now? Sex. <laughs> Sex. They want you. They miss you. They need your body. The body. Look. The body, y'all. Right under that. They need your body. But this person is definitely in pain. Y'all see that? Pain. Somebody is struggling a lot more than they say. 
and they really need to open up to you and just tell you what's on their mind. This person could even be starving themselves. Somebody could be hung, like they could sit and just not eat. They could get hungry and somebody not taking care of themselves. It's like they doing a lot of praying. They keeping their hope alive. They heavy and this could be somebody that grew up in a church or they heavily into spirituality. But some of y'all, this person could even be turning their back on spirituality right now. Or turning their back on believing in certain things because because of the circumstances that they in. This could be somebody that's like pissed off right now and it's like, you know what, God, I don't want to hear shit that, you know, I don't want to hear shit until it has something to do with me getting a paycheck or some more money. Somebody's angry. They're angry with spirituality. They're angry because they want their blessings to come in and... They want to manifest the things that they want to manifest. And they almost feel like God is turning a, turning his back on them or punishing them a little bit. And I don't think it's anything like that that's truly going on. This person just got to dig deeper. Dig deeper. And they also got to be mindful of the risk that they take too, especially when it comes to finances. Just because something looks good does not mean that it's legit. So somebody could have also been scammed out of some money too for me to say that. Somebody could have been scammed out of some money. Something could have sounded nice or somebody made something sound real pretty. And this person kept wondering. They thought about a decision for so long. And they're like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Yeah, this person should have stayed quiet. They shouldn't have never like, agreed to something. Somebody could have stole their money and like went on a went on a vacation or somebody could be like scamming people. That's all I got for y'all though, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. Don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Bye, y'all.